Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld 1.0. Doing some digging with Dirk. Making some some crisscrosses here in the uh, in the mountain. Is that gold? That is ding dang bloody gold. Hot dang. Is there more of it? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Get this. It's like similar. Okay, there's no more. But there's one more gold there. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. I'm not going to turn down gold. Heck no. Reynold has some inspired recruitment. It's pretty great. We'll probably never use it, but it's still pretty great. Ragamuffin. Talk to me. Ragamuffin is coming down, as you can see. It continues to deconstruct. And this is good. This is a good thing. Not just for Bitcoin, but possibly for the universe. Don't quote me on that. Don't ever quote me, but definitely don't quote me on that. Anyway. Let me, let me take a look at our conduited cheer. That doesn't lead to anything. Why is that there? Get out of here, you stinky conduit. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. Life continues. Now the, um... The toxins are gone, too. That's going to help a bit. More compacted... Okay, don't show me the compacted machinery, then. I will take your word for it. Yeah, mine that stuff out, too. Who needs a meal source? We got 12 days worth of food over here. That's more than enough for everybody. In space, we got 83, 83 days worth of food. I think we'll be fine. Alright. Don't even start getting it you know what. Okay, you're just gonna you're just gonna skip the compacted. Okay, I just I guess. Your, your, your prerogative, your priority, Dirk. I'm not here to tell you how to do your job, just to do it. <laughs> but anyway, back to Ragamuffin. So this building is necessary. This one's necessary for now. This one is not right now. Are these bots... Well, I guess I can take these bots up and send them up to the next whenever we go. Uh, we'll probably, I think I mentioned this already, but we're probably just going to send those to Microton. Since that's where the kitchen bots will be needed, needed the most. And we can send most of this, this stuff over there too. And probably even this stove, now that I think about it. Yeah, send all of the cookery over there too. Since it would be useful over there. Except for this little stove. This little stove is dinky and who needs it? But we definitely don't need to create more food over here. We got plenty to go around. We'll eventually want to bring this up too, but we, that can wait. Uh, we can reconnect to... Here we go. That 16 is up and running again. Beautiful, beautiful. We de disconnected all this stuff, which is good. We've not disconnected this stuff up here are like you know other defenses but i'm gonna assume holy crap the wealth here is still going up oh i think that's total wealth wealth of this map 1.3 mil okay yeah this is total wealth here yeah, yeah, yeah uh there's not a way to just have that show okay we have over 64 population holy crap um I don't know why that surprises me, but for some reason it does. Over the last 30 days, uh, it's been looking pretty good. All right. Yeah, we're down to 1.3 million wealth here, which is, you know, not as wealthy, I suppose, is the best way to put it. Not as filthy rich as we were previously. However, our richness could still be quite adequately described as filthy. All right. Yeah, we'll let all this stuff get torn up. Good, good, good. Jolly well good. 
Eventually, we'll bring all the bots back. We'll send them into space. We'll have some guests from the Blue Moon Corporation. And they'll leave. Yeah, we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. I mean, it's already looking much smaller than it did before. And actually, most of these beds aren't necessary anymore either. Now that I think about it, because we only have... Yeah, what do we have? Like, 12 animals? 3, 6... Uh, even less than that, I think. No, 12 exactly, it looks like. If it had done my math right. Anyway. That's okay. Get rid of these. Then all the animals can just hang out up here. This moves forward with that idea that we're, you know... Leaving. In a permanent fashion. Yeah, just a couple rooms left. Rec room stays up for the guest. Literally no other reason. Although once these guys go, we might even just go ahead and call that a life. Apparently we have found Jade. And it's pretty great. Yeah. I mean, this is effective. As you can see. Dude's carving it all out. Go ahead and open the tool again. And we'll do the same thing over here. It's freaking perfect. It is the perfect way to mine. It solves all the problems that we had previously. Although we may have accidentally doubled up over here. That's okay, though. But, I mean, now we can just... carve this place up into freaking Swiss cheese. There you go. Oop, that's not the right spot. Uh, frick. Try that again. Yo, here we go. Swiss cheese it, please it. Yeah, that, that's all for now. That's a lot of Swiss cheesing. And who knows, maybe the AI will come over here and get confused <laughs> during one of their raids. Like, what's with all these freaking fillers, man? I like it though. I like it a lot. Microton starting to slap some more stuff down. It's working. It's going. Oh my god. That is a lot of stinky ass stone. Get rid of it. Kill it. Ugh. Just disintegrate it. It's gross. It's, and I don't like it. Okay, let it launch a group. Go ahead and load up the kitchen bots. Where are you? I know you're over here somewhere. What? Maybe they're not? Maybe they haven't been moved yet. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Okay, we're gonna have to wait on that. Uh, but the stove has been moved over, and so is the oven. So... Yeah, I guess not the bots, though. Alright, well... I see. Where are the bots? Are they getting hauled into... Yeah, they are right now. <laughs> Literally, he's practically there. I was impatient. You know what? It's my problem. Bam. Okay, thank you, Sanic. Try that again. Now we can select them. Wherever they are on this list. Right above cloth? No, right above weapons? Right above weapons. All right. Send up them bots, send up that stove, send up them ovens, yeah, here we go. We're sending over some raw ass stuff. We'll probably just do literally that and send over the raw food, but not the cooked stuff. Uh, so send in as much as we can carry. That's about what we can carry. I mean, it's microton. They have room for meat. In fact, now that I think about it, we should get all that stuff moving ASAP. 
Okay, so we have 750 room now. Oh, okay, we only have 24,000 fish meat. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I knew we had a lot of fish. I didn't know we had that much fish. Okay, send over a bunch of meat. 24,000 fish meat. This place has been a fishing mecca. And we have, like, one piddly little fishing zone over here. It's not as delicious. It's not, and we don't have the ability to terraform either. I know there's mods for it, but I haven't put one in for it. Not on this one, at least as far as I remember. Yeah, there's not a way to make more water. So we just kind of have to live with it. Oh, he's gone on his next section. Dirk's digging continues, dude. I mean, it's not like we really needed to dig down here in this area, but it's like, whatever, you know? It's like, whatever, you know? Boom, boom, boom. Well done. I mean, when the rares are that easy, how can you not take them? Yeah, we're gonna... Next thing to make obsolete is the kitchen and the dining area. And we're practically done with the dining area. I mean, we got like... Three bots here who would sit down and eat. Oh, I forgot about the milling stone. It doesn't matter. They have a milling stone over there. That I'm pretty sure has the exact same orders in it. Then keep the TV for now. For now! Don't make me take it away. Alright. We can get rid of the uh, Glitter World beds, but... The uh, Alpha Poly one... Will definitely need to be uninstalled and shipped up. Or shipped somewhere. My original thought was up in the space, but it might not be. Ten days before the JT drive. I wanna... I'm thinking... Yeah, it hurts, but only a little bit. Uh, that maybe... That'll be our end goal. You know, our graduation point from 1.0 to 1.1 will be when that JT drive is fully researched and then shipped up and then we blast off to another system. Maybe. Maybe. I think, it, I think that would make a good landing point for our most recent ragamuffins. More friggin' salt, dude. Also, 16,000... 877 steel boys and that's not even all of them because you can see there's some over here they only selected 199 the point is there's a lot of steel over here maybe even too much i mean considering we can only fit some of it yeah yeah, yeah. words um storage skips Just skip to my loo, my dudes. Also, get rid of these ones, because I just remember they would take away from the area there. So we can just do like this instead. Cool. Yeah, get those built. Give us a place to put the rest of that steel. And considering how much we're going to have to work with, that is going to be a full-time job. As we're getting all this steel up to space, but that's fine. That is what it is, and that's really all that it is. You know what I mean? I mean, if it wasn't, what else would it be? So now we have that relay tower. Our bots in space are doing fine. Also, someone did point out, because I did actually forget. Uh, from what I understand, the capacitor arrays are immune-ish? Two zits. And I don't remember if that was something in the research or what. Um, there's somewhere to show already research things. Uh, hide locked projects. Hide finished projects. See, yeah, un unhide those. That everything else looks great. Thank you, Dub, for your mint menus. Um, it was in ship. 
and it was capacitor arrays okay it doesn't explicitly say it is but maybe it is but maybe it's not I don't know but I kind of like having this here so I can see them but at the same time it's a little cluttered so I will just go back to hiding the finished ones and just seeing this little list right here that reminds us that we never found a friggin yad dang stupid stinky lost analyzer anyway not here nor there a siege of androids from the hills hmm android raider of hills to the uprising they got some tx3s Ooh, sexy with bolters they got some t1s they got some ooh, wow two t4s too bad their weapons suck uh two tx2s uh two tx4s both who have combat ripples and a couple of t3s no weapons that i am deathly afraid of though so i think we're gonna have a good time they are sieging so you know we're gonna want to get uh, a couple of our thets over here onto some devastator mortars now don't do that oh, you foolish fool okay and we'll get ready to mortar them in a devastating manner well, Dirk just continues to do his thing. Uh, we'll let them land first. I'm curious. Where are you guys gonna... Where are you guys gonna try to stake your claim? Let's see it before we take aim. Orbital sight. What do you got for me? Ship debris. Okay, that's fine, I guess. I prefer the asteroids because they have more raw resources, but ship debris is cool too. Keep... I got this new, like... 64 ounce water bottle and I keep trying to tilt it up to drink it and you can't because it the thing goes straight down It's not how you're supposed to do it that I don't know why I'm telling you that story Maybe it's just to, to you know comfort you into knowing that I'm not just a dinkus when it comes to video games. I'm also I also do quite a few dumb things in real life um, Yeah That's the lesson all right, we're stocking up plasteel and steel and friggin' alpha poly. We're just gonna send that up to space. But that's fine for now. Okay, where are you guys setting up shop? How many are you? Nineteen. All right, cool. So we take out like nine or ten of you, and you'll be done. This probably won't be the most difficult rare, but it could be. I've been surprised before. I just doubt this is going to be the day. All right. Loading in progress. Wait for that food. That's okay. It takes time, and I acknowledge this. Did you guys find your spot yet? Oh, there it is. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, uh, they want to set up a steel artillery and a steel mortar. Cool. I want to set up a little bit of your depth. All right, dudes. Have a nice present from Fort JT. All right, slam them as if we want to jam them. That was fun. <laughs> oh, mercy. Oh, no. Elton. She's on fire, and she's lost both of her eye sensors. Oh, she's gone. Dude, she's gone endo on us. Yo, that looks cool as hell. Also, we struck more steel. Yo. Where did we strike more steel? Neat. Mine at all. Ooh, more gold too. Anyway, <laughs> that that endoskeleton thing is really cool. Of course, she's just gonna keep burning, which is arguably kind of cruel. Oh, it happened to uh, Zachary over here too. 
health dropped low enough where we can see the endoskeleton. I mean, you gotta admit, that's kind of cool. Okay, she's not on fire anymore. That is pretty damn cool, though. Hope you can make it out of here with no eyeballs. Alright, good job, team. Let's go ahead and let this thing fire up and we'll be good to go. Everyone's like, well, you we gotta haul them dead bots first. For some reason. I mean, you know... I could totally... Build... Yeah, 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 I'm gonna do that. Maybe. Do I have the stuff to build it? That's the question. I don't want to build a large... Hey, you know what? We have the stuff for a large machinery table. Let's build a large machinery table. And I know, outdoors, bad temperature, work speed penalty, but not work results penalty. And that's an important distinction, because uh, this is a lot of free materials sitting over here. Potentially. Yo, Fet19, what's up? Tainted nano suit? Well, maybe you should stop wearing it. Alright, yeah, yeah. Lots, lots of extra steel. We seem to be striking compacted steel at an alarming, alarmingly good rate. I mean, considering that's what we were looking for pretty much most of this time. I'd say it's going well. Meadow Ave 20 has broken down and is wandering around confused thanks to dementia. I'm sorry, Meadow Ave 20. Please forgive me. All right. Move on. Have a good time. Looks like we got most everything grown over here, or sown, I should say, over here, which is fantastic because growing is the next part of that. How we doing with uh, loading up over here? Loading in progress. Still waiting on meat. This one. We got 540 Medoav meat we're waiting for. They're all important, but this one's the most important. It looks like we'll have that one going soon. The gorilla over here at the blue moon. Hanging around, holding his charge lance. Trying to look like a tough lad. I see through you. I can smell your insecurities. Look at it all torn up. It's actually kind of weird, right? It's not just me, it's weird. We should probably set up some of these traps over here in uh, Microton now that I think about it. We struck compact. Uh, really? More? Cool. We already got it all. Nice. Thank you. But yeah, we should set up more of those over here. And they go under. I have no idea. Production? It's production. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if they have like a certain distance you have to keep them from each other within six tiles. Okay, so we can place a bunch of these around at least. Okay, that's about as far as you can. And you probably can't have it like within the middle of the yeah, adjacent to a thing or a thing. But that's good. That's a lot more potential for, for fish. Mostly the shell variety, but fish is fish. Not, not really, but you know what I'm trying to get at here. Freaking gold, too. Sweet. But now that I said that, there's room down here for potential fishing spots, too. Production. That's where it lives. Okay. Fishing spot. Sock it to me. We'll fish right here. you dang right. We'll fish right here. Just remember, you can't have fishing spots too close to each other because nobody likes to fish as a group. Obviously, it's never been done before. People only like to fish as solo entities. And uh, this game is going to enforce that really damn hard. So there you go. Uh, but the shellfish traps, those can basically go... Well, you can have more of them is what I'm trying to get at. Give me... Come on, right, right, nah, right, 
there all right well, what about this in this corner then yeah baby okay there you go more fish and of course over here why we didn't have far more of these in the first place i probably just didn't feel like it Ooh, a raid okay but yeah we should definitely have some people doing fishing because we should set up some of these over here too i mean it's it's like free food right kind of in a way here we go and it's like right here outside of the city in like the easiest freaking place to get to how can you not and we just set some up over here there you go and then you set up some of the shellfish traps you know these are like the easiest rares and why we haven't built like a half a dozen of them by now is like personally one of those things that i expect one of your usual commentators to commentate on anyway possibly not here probably not even there but anyway there you go there's a butt ton of extra food resources alliance of the fearful club that is a tribal group okay i, I mean i guess I mean, I feel bad. I mean, not really, but I'm pretending to. I mean, that is just 35 lives thrown away completely. And for what? A freaking hyperdrive they won't even know how to use. You poor bastards. Oh, the humanity. Oh, my lands. Eight of them survived. Like, why even? Like, why even show up? All right. Yo. Uh, disassemble dead androids, but do it not to colonists. Not to colonists. And only do it if your name is Dirk McDwip. And then do it forever? Yo, do those count as the, the TX's count? They do. Lovely. Okay, cool. More compacted machinery. And is that what I think it is? Oh my lord, it is. It is Titane of Neum. My favorite version of Titane. Anyway, very nice, very nice like it a lot so we've been pretty productive this episode we set up some places for fishing we set up some places for shellfish which is a kind of fishing jeb's decided to have a snack and we've done more deconstruction over here in Le ragamuffin good times that's gonna be it for this episode of that plays rim world 1.0 if you enjoyed it make sure to let me know by giving a like if you haven't already feel free to subscribe for more because guess what it's gonna keep coming and it'll stop coming because that's what rim world do thanks again for watching this episode of that plays rim world 1.0 my name is that and i will see you in the next video my dudes